We are moving right along in the creation of this journal, and this journal is what I am referring to as my idea journal, or a place where I can store thoughts and ideas as I find things that I want to complete in my studio. In this particular video, we're going to be working on the ephemera tab that we're decorating with a fabric collage. We have two more tabs to create. You'll see those on the right. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have a very explorative and experimental style. I like to use different mediums. If you like that kind of meandering, hit that subscribe button. And of course your likes and comments help my channel and I appreciate them greatly. Here are a few other places on the web that you can find me. Let's get started in putting this tab together. As you know, I began, and you can catch earlier videos, by decorating these file folders with book pages, texture paste, and a drag of raw umber and yellow ochre acrylic paint. To create this tab, I'm punching six holes in the top with my craft pick. Small holes, not huge. 18 gauge wire, and pulling copper wire, and utilizing this stick to coil it around. And I've chosen this stick because I'm looking for something that's kind of unstructured. I don't want any real defined coil. And the variance in the width of the stick and the shape, I think, creates a nice mood, if you will. Once I have that into a coil, I'm guiding it through the holes. So just sticking the end of that coil in the first hole and twisting and running that end through each of the holes to wind this coil onto the top of this tab. And when it gets a little tough to get through the hole, I just grab the pliers and kind of coerce it or guide it towards the next hole. And once finished, I think that creates a very interesting piece of ephemera, if you will, for the top of this tab. And I think it will look really good when you look at the side of the book. To bring in that patina that we have used on the other three tabs, I am choosing the green texture effect paste. And just placing it with my finger, and I'm not being cautious to not hit that copper because I think it will look nice if it patinas right on that copper. And I'm trying to get it up in between each of the coils, so I'm utilizing that little small paintbrush to do that. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. No particular reason or no particular thought put into where it is going. I'm just intuitively smearing, if you will. <laughs> and for the headline, I'm choosing a piece of linen, coffee stained, some gold fabric that we've used in the other tabs, and a little bit of cheesecloth. I'm going to glue that down. And I have this little found treasure. It's a bottle cap that I picked up in a parking lot been there for ages and run over and rusted quite the relic. I will glue that into place. And then I have these little discs that um, are just a bronze color, have a little hole in the center of them, and I'm going to put that into the center of that bottle cap. Going around the outside edges with the stays on black ink, to frame everything in and kind of create a little bit of darkness. I'm 
And now for the other side, I'm only thinking about fabric on this side. So I want to create a fabric collage. So I'm utilizing that same coffee stained linen, a piece of that same linen that has not been stained. I have these embroidery threads that I'm thinking about using. And this piece of my father's handwriting from letters he wrote to my mother during World War II. The interesting thing about the, the, his letter is he misspelled the word surprised. He put two Ps in it. So I'm going to cover up his little spelling indiscretion with this piece of lace. And I think that looks too stark, that piece of paper. So I'm going to add some transparency to it with candle wax. I pulled out a piece of parchment paper. I'm shaving some candle wax on top of it, flipping that parchment paper over and hitting it with a dry, no steam iron. And I've pulled my cutting board in to avoid warping my craft mat that's underneath this piece of paper I have taped down. So that creates a more subtle effect. We'll get that glued into place. Grant me a second here to refill my glue bottle. And I'm just using that glitter glue that seems to be my go-to glue for just about everything. This piece of undyed linen. Our transparent writing and cover up his spelling error with this piece of lace. And now to add just a, a little bit more texture to the side, I am utilizing sealing wax and I'm going to create a little seal here at the bottom of the handwriting. And I chose white. So we'll just drip that on and hit it with the I can't think of what that's called, but the seal, I guess. And now we'll flip it over and, and uh, put our, our tag and our quote on the other side. So this is going to be labeled ephemera. And I have written that on a piece of coffee stained paper. And went around the outside edge of it with vintage photo. We'll put that right up next to that bottle cap and add another seal. On this side. And we've been adding quotations, um, artist quotations on each tab. For this one, I'm utilizing a quote by Picasso. The chief enemy of creativity is good sense. And I would agree with that, wouldn't you? And just choose a place to display that. And I'm going to add a piece of that linen fabric underneath the quote. This is that gold thread that we've used in previous tabs. And I want to incorporate that. So I've tied it into a loose knot. And let's decide where it would look best. I'm just playing around with some some different things and I have decided to stick it right up there atop the bottle cap. And I've chosen just a little snip of cheesecloth to 
to add next to the quote. And that glue dries clear. So you won't see that big white glob once that glue dries. Just adding that gilding wax around the outside edge. We've done that on previous tabs. And I'll link the playlist at the end of the video. And each piece of this book construction is labeled in part one, part two, part three. So if you want to go through it from start to finish, punching three holes in the side and utilizing that gold thread once again, or that not thread, but the gold fabric once again, and just looping it. And this will create that nice texture on the side of the book. When you close it, you have the little pieces of fabric hanging out. And I'm doing this on a few tabs on alternating sides. So you get the fabric coming out at the top and at the bottom of the book. So that completes this tab. I think the fabric collage creates a nice soft texture for inside this book. I like the hanging little pieces on the side. I think that creates interest as well. And I am really fond of the copper coil at the top. We have two more to create. You can see them here. And I hope you'll join me for the finish of this project. And of course, the playlist is up here in the right hand corner. Hopefully, that's where it landed. And I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Your likes and comments help promote my channel, so I genuinely appreciate those as well. So I shall say bye for now and see you in the next video.